watching Let's Chat. Spring is here, summer's not far away, the temperatures are climbing up, so if you enjoy outdoor activities, you should be heading up and do some great whitewater rafting. Here to talk about that is Lynn McClary. Lynn is here in the center. She is the director of the Polk County Chamber of Commerce. Lynn, good to see you. Good morning. Over here we have Ryan Cook. Ryan is the president of the Okoy River Outfitters Association. Ryan, good to see you good as well. well. So. Let's throw this out the window and talk about our good friend JT Lemons for a while, shall we? <laughs> yes, sir. They, they know JT we Lemons know JT. and yep. JT and Meg watch this show and JT, of course, very actively involved in whitewatering as well. Um, tragic, tragic thing about the Whitewater Center burning down. Any idea on if that's going to be replaced or what caused <laughs> the actual fire itself? And I know you've heard those questions. Those are the big questions. Times. Yeah, yeah. Um, the latest press release that we got from the National Forest Service said um, that there's not been a cause determined at this point in time. Right. Uh, investigation is ongoing, so of course any decision on rebuilding is going to not happen until, until that's taken care of. Um, yeah. We certainly hope it's rebuilt. Sure. Uh, that was kind of an iconic building, even though it wasn't all that old. It was built for the 96 Olympics. And since the 96 Olympics, whitewater business in the Okoy area has just skyrocketed. Yes, sir. How much has that building being destroyed hurt the business of whitewater rafting so far? I know it hadn't been open long, but do you guys see any downturn in business because of this? Well, we haven't really kicked off our 2022 season yet. Right. But we have been receiving words from a lot of people that don't live locally that they feel like with the Whitewater Center burning that the Okoy River burnt, and that's just not the case. Nothing we are, could be We are still rafting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and how many, how many outfitters are on the Okoy River alone? Not to mention the Hiawassee, just the Okoy. Any rough idea? 23. 24. 24. 24 whitewater outfits. So, no, obviously the uh, industry is going to be bigger and better than ever this summer. Fair assumption? Uh, yes, you sir. have to keep in mind, too, that the center had been closed the past two years for the pandemic. Right. Um, there, were, there were talks and tentative plans to reopen hopefully this summer. Um, which was going to be a huge asset, but but Rafton went on um, 2020, 2021, just right. like always, without the without the center uh, itself open. The, the grounds were open. Are there any differences in how the whitewater, yeah, the, the the sport of whitewater rafting is going to be changed this year because of that, or it really won't be? Correct? No, sir. It it will not be. We will be rafting as normal. 2022 rafting as normal uh, so no trips have to be canceled you don't have to call and make sure your reservations nope. if you've already made them everything is still on and whitewater business is going along on the okoy and the hawassi rivers both yes sir we were both up and down the river last weekend and there were boats all day long on the the middle okoy the right. upper okoy begins that's the olympic section um, and that one begins this saturday this Saturday, wow, yep. it's getting underway yep. uh, quicker and quicker, isn't it? <laughs> it? It's always a fun time when you go up and do the river, either one. The Okoy Rivers, for those who are a little more adventuresome, if you want a nice sort of lazy float, then the Hawassi is your river of choice. How much mileage are available for rafters between the Hawassi and the Okoy? So between both rivers, we have about 15 miles worth of rafting. Right. Uh, there are 10 miles on the Okoy uh, with the upper Okoy. And it's a family fun thing to do. You can find yep. an outfitter that has guides or one if you're adventuresome enough. And you know what you're doing, you can tackle it by yourself. So it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun this year. Lynn, Ryan, we hope you both come back and talk to us after the season is a couple of weeks old at least. And maybe we'll give some trips away. But again, bottom line here is whitewater rafting on yes. the Okoy and the Hiawassee River open for business as usual. It right? It yes, sure is. All right. Thank you. Thank you both for coming down and joining us. We will see you here over the coming weeks. Find out more. Check out the website, okoycountry.com, correct? Yes, yes sir. Okoycountry.com. Lynn McClary, thank you again. Ryan Cook, we thank you again as well. And we'll be right back with more after this. All right.